Hello, Luis. Hello, Jorge. Welcome. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. It's nice. Today is not raining. That's good. Um, uh, very good. <laughs> That's very good. Okay, Luis. Excellent. Hello, Jorge. Good evening. How are you feeling today? ¿Cómo se siente hoy? ¿Qué tal? Very. Así es. Se me, se me quedó. Ajá. Good, good. ¿Qué tal? Hoy, hoy no hay dolor de cabeza. Es que ya me falló la Goku, pero me estresé un poquito también. Oh my God. Aquí empezando la, la clase. Y <risa> que no sé por qué me está fallando. Más que todo en la reunión, se me, me saca y tengo que conectarme con el teléfono hasta después. Vuelvo a reconectarme. Quizás, quizás hay muchos. Eh, bueno, usted lo ocupa con Wi-Fi. Sí, no, pero en el momento de la clase solo yo lo utilizo. Tengo Ajá. órdenes ahí. Que, que <ríe> Tengo órdenes estrictas no, que no nadie que, puede tocar el wifi. Como que el navegador es el que, el navegador quizás es el que da problemas. Porque de un solo se me cierra, si no me queda en negro la pantalla. ¿Y no he descargado la aplicación de Zoom? Sí. Ajá, es que eso es, eso es como lo bueno, ¿ve? hay que descargar la aplicación para que la pueda ocupar directamente en la aplicación. Uh -huh. Así no le da sí, problema. Ya. Ahora sí, ya estamos con todo. Eh, ok, I'm very happy for that. Estamos con todo, they say. That's pretty good. <laughs> ok, good. So, my dear students, welcome, welcome, Wendy, Normita, Mr. Edwin, welcome. Mr. Ronald. Welcome to class. It's a pleasure to have you here, to have all of you here. And for sure, to have another opportunity to learn. You see, today is Wednesday. My God, the time is flying. El tiempo vuela cuando nos divertimos. Definitely. So I am going to work today a little bit on a present continuous. We are going to have some exercises for the present continuous, and we are going to do some exercises as well, comparing simple present and present continuous, checking on the differences and checking on the different things that uh, that we can do with it. So it is it is going to be nice. Right? So we are going to to have the opportunity to actually practice a little bit on the topic. And we are going to be working on that today, okay? So I hope that you have had a very beautiful day. And for sure, we are going to do our best to have a nice class, okay? So tell me some of the things that you are doing right now. What are you doing right now? Let's use the present continuous to start the class. What are you doing right now? What are you doing right now? Right now, I'm watching to you. I am watching you, right? I am watching you. That's what you're doing, right? I'm watching you. What I'm else? You. What are you doing right now in this moment? I am teaching a class. What are you doing? Luis? Uh, no. <laughs> Come on. You, you said, you said this. So I was like, okay, he wants to participate. I said, <laughs> Ahorita digo, pero. <laughs> Ahorita pongo en Google Translator. <laughs> <laughs> no, what, what do you want to say? ¿Qué palabra buscas? Pelear. Fighting. <laughs> You're fighting with whom? Why? Well, I'm fighting with my brother. <laughs> Come on. Va, hermano, que no ve que estamos en clase. Ahorita no. Mejor se sienta y reciba la clase de la parte. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I am fighting with my brother, you say. I know. 
No, please don't do that. Don't do that. Don't fight with people. No, don't do it. Eso no se hace. So any other thing, what are you doing right now? Listen. Listening. Music. Listening music. Listening. Uh -huh. Listening music, we are the world. <laughs> listening music. Why are you listening to music in class? Anterior, perdón. Ya termino. <laughs> Listen, uh, teacher. I am listening to the teacher. I am listening to the teacher. Good. Hello, Dieguito. Welcome. I'm your teacher. I am I am fighting with <laughs> No, I was I was uh, telling something to my husband. He is uh, Dieguito, estaré de oyente, voy de camino. Okay, good. Yeah. Estábamos peleando por el ventilador. No se lo lleven, no. I said. <laughs> no, that's not from God. I said, no. Because the office the office is really hot. So, um, things to do. We're going to start working. I need you to get a paper. I need you to get a paper, please. Get a paper on your notebook, right? For sure. Agarren su cuaderno. Ustedes tienen su cuaderno. Yo no tengo. Ah, my notebook is right here. I have it. Get a notebook. Your notebook. And we're going to work. We're going to work a little bit on vocabulary. And we're going to work for sure with time. We're going to work on vocabulary and with time. The only one that is not going to play is Diego because he's on the car. <laughs> so be careful. Okay, we're going to be working on this and we're going to check a little bit of vocabulary, right? We're going to work a little bit of vocabulary and we're going to work with times. We're going to work in periods of one minute, okay? And no, less, 30 seconds. Okay, we are going to work on periods of 30 seconds. And we are going to do the following. I am going to share my screen right now and I am going to give you a letter. And I need you to write as many words as possible with that letter. Tienen que escribir tantas palabras como les sea posible con esa letra, okay? So I am going to give you only 30 seconds, okay? I'm going to tener 30 segundos nada más. Okay. And you are going to check it here on my screen. Okay. Exactly like this. And whenever I finish, I will say, okay, stop. And you are going to be counting how many words you have with that letter. Okay. Vamos a hacer una práctica. Este es de práctica. Okay. Voy a dar una letra. Y con esa letra tienes que escribir tantas palabras como puedan con esa letra. <laughs> Starting with that one. Please don't Google it, okay? No se vayan a ir a Google, hay palabras con ese. No, 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 that's not from God. Eso no es del Señor. Se muere un diccionario si lo hace. <laughs> so please, I need you to be honest, okay? Si solo escribieron cuatro, si solo escribieron tres, si solo escribieron dos. Anyway, right? That's it, right? That's my knowledge. And the idea is that you increase your vocabulary every day. Okay, we're going to practice. Vamos a hacer una práctica. The first letter that we are going to use is the letter B. Let's go, you have 30 seconds. 30 seconds to do this. Okay, 30 seconds. As many words with B as you can. Todas las palabras con B que se les, se les vengan a la mente. 30 seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Hands up. Manos arriba todos. Manos arriba, manos arriba. No more writing. No more writing. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's see. Let's see. 
How many do you have? How many words did you get? ¿Cuántas tienen? Six. Six. Diego has four. Four. <laughs> four. Only four. Six. six. Five. Who has five. Who has more than six? ¿Quién tiene más de seis? More than six? Seven tengo. Seven. Okay. Okay. Dieguito has three. Bold, back, and bullying. Luis Parrilla, which ones do you have? Bad, beast, beast, brother, book, things. Okay, very good. Jorge. Ear, back, body, bank. Okay, Edwin. B, banana, become, baby, basic, believe. Okay, good. Very good words. Wendy. Uh, donkey, prairie, eggplant, bathroom. Only with B. Solo que empezaran con B. Tenía que poner todas las que empezaran con B. O sea, todas las palabras que empiecen con la letra oh, que les voy dando. Oh, oh. Ok. Bueno, contamos uno con, con uno. Banana. Car eh, Ronald. Blue, banana, black, bathroom. Okay, you have only five. Carlita. Because good book, best black baby. <laughs> okay, you have very similar words. Catherine. Book, baby, be, belly, button. Button, okay. Walter. Book, bakes, blickers, and brother. And brother, and Norbita. Fair, Brian, book, blackboard, beer. Very good, and beer. Okay, and Diego sent on the chat. He sent three on the chat. Let me see. Okay, here we go. We have bold, back, and bullying. Those are the three that Diego sent on the chat. Okay. Let's do the next one. Vamos a ver qué tal nos va en la siguiente. Let's mm -hmm. do the next one. Remember, 30 seconds, okay? 30 seconds on the clock. And we are going to start with the letter, an easy one. I'm going to send an easy letter, okay? This is going to be letter A. Letter A, 30 seconds, go. Letter A, letter A. Letter A, 15, 14. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. No more writing, no more writing. <laughs> No more writing. Okay, good. Excellent. Let's see. Count your words. ¿Cuántas tiene? Five. Five. Two. Two. No. Four. Four. Eight. Hey, that's good. That's good. That's good. Está, está, está bien. Está bien. ¿Quién tiene ocho? Muy bien. A ver, Dieguito. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> five for Diego. Let's see. Letter A. Which ones do you have? Who has more than eight? ¿Quién tiene más de ocho? No one? Eight? Ronald, right? No. Who has eight? ¿Quién six. tiene ocho? Six. Eight, eight. Six, six. Okay, Luis, how many do you have? <laughs> Luisito, how many do you have? Um, <laughs> a ver si cuenta. <laughs> okay. Eh, Ana, all about Apple, Animal, eh, Argentina, uh, Alemania, August. <laughs> Alemania doesn't count. 
<laughs> Alemania and Anna don't count because they are proper names, okay? <laughs> this is like Anna, Angelica, Anita, <laughs> Anna Maria. And then you start like creating different words with A. Okay, good. Let's see. Um, Mr. Jorge, which ones do you have? <laughs> Uh, angel, angry, hat, arty, apple, uh, air, air. Air? That's it. <laughs> okay, good. Edwin? Uh, apple, axe, action, attend, act, attention, act, attend, anyway, always. Always. <laughs> Okay, good, very good. Yeah, it counts. It counts as good. Wendy, how many do you have? Uh, as there, action, apple, angel, R. Okay, so you have five. That's good. That's even better. It's very nice. Let's see. Ronald, how many do you have? Five. Five. <laughs> Give in to me. Uh, alphabet. Animal. Hungry. Apple uh, and American. <laughs> American. <laughs> okay, good, 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 good. Very good. So let's see. Carla Patricia. Always action almost and yard. Okay, good, good words, good words. Norma. Arm, architect, your way. <laughs> Three. Okay, that's good. Catherine. Apro, animal, alternative. Hey, three. Very good. Walter. No tengo dos. No, it's okay. It's okay. Eh, air y about. Air and about. Okay, that's good, right? You have good. And let's see. Diego sent the ones that he had on the chat. So Diego has apple, aunt, August, also, and always. Okay, I love. I know that you love to compete, so we're going to be fighting for this. Let me see. Let me see. I am going to give you only two. I am going to give you another letter, right? In this case, I am going to give you one letter uh, per group. And I am going to have you working in groups. You have only two minutes on the group. Vamos a ver si cinco cerebros piensan más que uno. We are going to work together, okay? Ya nos concho. You cannot repeat words, okay? Y cuando regresemos, vamos a ver qué grupo tiene más. Two minutes. <laughs> two minutes, okay? And the letter is going to be letter. Let me write it here. Letter. I, I don't have. Okay, I'm going to write it on the board. Start thinking, okay? Start thinking because we are going to write it on the board. I'm going to write it on the board. And the letter for the groups is going to be letter. A difficult. <laughs> a difficult. <laughs> Please, on the groups, no cheating, okay? La cosa es que no podemos hacer trampa en los grupos. Nada de que, ay, encontré esta línea. No. Just think about words and then you are going to bring them here, okay? The letter is going to be letter M. And you are going to go to the groups right now. Accept the invitation to go to the groups. Vamos a los grupos. Letter M. Letter M. Jorgito, solo tú me faltas. Thank you.
Hi, Diego. <laughs> Don't worry, Diego. I know that you are that you are driving. They are in groups right now. They are working in groups. No, don't worry. They are working in groups right now. They are doing the challenge in groups. May, the May. Ah, Stop. No more writing. No more writing. No more writing. <laughs> Stop. Pero qué rápido pasaron los dos minutos. I know. Flying, flying. <risa> no, 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 no. Los números, los, el, los tiempos ya están programados en las salas. Ahí sale arribita cuántos minutos. <risa> no me digan que soy tramposo. Okay. Group number one. Count your words. Grupo uno, cuenten sus palabras. Jorge, Carla, Catherine, Luis, en Ronald. En group number two. Christian, Edwin, Karen, Norma, Walter, and Wendy. Group number one, let's see. Ronald nos va a reportar. En group number two, Norma. Vamos a ver quién gana. Group number one. No, no, no. How many? How many do you have? How many? Uh, pues yo no sé, pero yo tengo 10. Ten. En Norma, how many no, do you have? Yo los anoté, los de grupo dos. Ah, no, ok. Walter, sí. how many do you have? Son 20 los que tenemos. Ah, 20. <laughs> Thank you very much. I think group number two, one, definitely. But es trabajo honrado. Ronald, give me your 10 words. <laughs> Model, man, miss, Monday, monkey, mouse, myth, market, night, money. Okay, 10. Perfect. Good, good words. Walter. Uh, nosotros tenemos machine, money, magic, master, moon, mic, mother, manager, machine, machine. No machine, mm -mm, no cuenta. 19. Bueno, cuatro puntos. <laughs> <laughs> Monday. Monday. Master, Memory, Minute, March, Muscle, Muscle, Man, Math, Monkey. So you have 23. Wow. Okay. Nice work. Very good work. Very good work, my dear groups. The Revenge. Okay. Hagamos la, la, la venganza, solo por orgullito. <laughs> <laughs> the, next, the next letter is going to be... The next letter is going to be... Letter. Uh, <laughs> difficult. <laughs> okay, an easy one. An easy one. Letter F. What? Letter I F. F. And we're going to go to the loops right now. Accept my invitation to go to the groups. Letter F. No Googling. No Googling. Remember that we cannot Google the words. Be honest. En grupo individual ahora. En groups, Dieguito. Do you want to go to a group? Te mando un grupo. Porfi. <laughs> okay, there you go. <laughs> Two minutes. Accept my invitation. Ya te mandé la invitación. No te digo.
No te digo la invitación, Dieguito. Okay, they are coming back anyway. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, I enjoy the challenges. <laughs> I do enjoy them. Welcome back. Let's see. Aha. Group number one. How many words do you have? Vamos a ver, grupo uno. Luis 20. Parrilla. 20. Okay, Luis Parrilla is going to report. 20. Okay, no. 20. 20. Ronald. Ah, Ronald. Okay. <laughs> Ronald. And in group number two, who is going to report? ¿Quién reporta? El número dos. 20. Yo. So, okay. Hola, abuelito. Hola. Hello. Hola. 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 Welcome to my heart. No sé quién, no sé quién nos llevó a decir hola, aquí, pero. Aquí nos, nos habló alguien susurró por ahí. Uy, que estuvo. Un colochito que tengo rondando, lo siento. Ah, ah sí. bueno, bueno. Yo digo, hola, mi amor. Yo, ¿qué? Hola, hola. ¿Qué? <risa> ¿Será este mi ser amado? <risa> no, mi sobrinito, sí, es otra, otra, un ser amado. Hola, sobrinito. Ok, en grupo número 2, Edwin. ¿Cuántos tienes, Edwin? Ya lo dieron. No, ¿cuántos uh, tienes? 18, 18. 18, ¡eh! Hey, grupo número 2 has 18 y you have 20. Grupo número 1 es el ganador hoy, ¿sabes? Todos somos ganadores aquí. Ronald, uh, report. Perfecto. <risa> Facebook, friend, four, five, five, family, father, fly, focus, favorite, sickness, final, forever, flower, fan page, <laughs> fruit, <laughs> fruit, funny, finisher. Finish, finish him. <laughs> okay. Fatality. Fatality. You see another one. 21. <laughs> Edwin, go ahead. Father, fix. Feel fine, family, fa family, football, fear, five, full, factory, finally, favorite, friends, fashion, for future, false, false, and from. Hey, very good, 18 words. Excellent exercise. You see, finish, final, finally. <laughs> you have all the, all the different words. You see, a very simple exercise. No, for sure. Hello, Edwin Mauricio. Welcome to the class. So, as you can see, Hello, teacher. this little exercise can help you a lot. And you might say, Ay, no, qué aburrido. A veces ya no hay ya ni el TikTok me divierte. Agarre un papel. Agarre un papel. And then on one paper, say like, okay, I'm going to la. And then you start writing all the words that you know. And that is going to challenge you to look for more vocabulary. If you open Google and say words with F, you are going to get like more than 5,000. Si ponen ahí palabras con F in English, in Google, you are going to get como 5,000 or más. And imagine we only have 20 in the list. We need more vocabulary. And these little games help you increase your vocabulary. Okay? Imagínense que un día se sientan en el almuerzo, tres de ustedes, ¿verdad? Vaya ahora con, con ese. <laughs> and then you start telling the words. It is, it is really crazy because it's a little game. But it helps you to think and also to be curious about vocabulary, right? 
hasta ahorita viene de mí. Justo el más competitivo del salón. <laughs> so, take this exercise. We're going to use different letters tomorrow. And we're going to check on this uh, knowledge and this vocabulary for us to work more on things like this one. Okay, so yesterday we were working yeah. on a, a little bit on the future, right? We were working on the things for the future and we were working on present continuous, right? I think I am going to start with something different. Wait. Ah, this one is the one that I need. Okay. We were talking about present continuous. And I have here different activities that people are doing. In this case, what are people in picture number one doing? They are dancing. They are dancing, right? They are dancing, they are having dinner, they are having a date. I don't know, right? They are dancing. Uh, the girl in number two? She is reading. She is, uh, she is reading. reading. Reading a book. She's reading a book. What about number three? He's, uh, he's swimming. swimming. He's swimming, right? He's swimming. Number four? He's walking. He is walking. Walking, right? He's walking. What about number five? They are. They are talking. They are talking, right? They are talking. Number okay. six? He is watching TV. Number seven? They are. They are, they are a movie. Watching, watching, move. <laughs> watching, right? They are watching, watching. a movie. Um, they are watching a movie. Oh. What about the next one? Number eight. He is playing. He is playing. He is working. Right. He is working. He is. I come. Por Dios. El amor. Por eso no me enamoro. No, ya, ya no ve. Okay. I am going to make these pictures small because I need some space to write. What about this one? Okay. Ahora ya no. Más o menos va a ver el pobre Edwin. Muy pequeña me la está haciendo. Okay, I will, I will leave them like this because I need some space to write. And in here, we are going to do a little difference and we are going to write some sentences. When the actions are happening on the moment, sorry, la quiera, oh, el panelero de las siete y media. Sorry. Oh my God. Well, el anuncio del día es gracias a la Kiara y su buey. Thank you very much. Okay, algún día le puedo contar la historia del panadero. <laughs> la Kiara tiene 11 años de vida. 11 años de vida tiene la de ese chef. <risa> Él pasa todos los días justo a las 7 y media, 7.35. Y ella hasta lo espera para la darle. <risa> sí, creo que es ella una está... muy buena amistad. They are very good friends. Hey, Dieguito, you are at home. That's so nice. So, when actions are happening at the moment, when actions are happening right now, we use present continuous for sentences. And how do we make it? As you were just explaining, right? Exactly like the sentences that you were creating. And in this case, we're going to write a couple of sentences and it says like they, I'm going to do, use this one. Uh, it's too small. They are dancing, don't worry. They are dancing, okay? Better. They are dancing. Another sentence that we have from the pictures, you say, she is reading. The next one, you say, he is swimming, okay? She is running. And you have, they 
are eating. They are eating. And he is watching, I'm sorry, watching TV. He is watching TV, right? And they are watching a movie. They are watching a movie and the next one will be he is working. Right, he is working. And there you have, these are sentences in present, continuous, right? Because the action is happening on this right moment because it's happening right now, right? The action is happening right now. And for sure, you express it with the present continuous. But how do you make a difference with the simple present? Okay, if this is not happening right now, but it happens regularly, we have a different type of sentence. For example, here, you say, the first one, they are dancing. But I can say, if it's a general action, it's not happening now, but it's a general action, a general thing, right? Es algo que pasa regularmente. You can say, they go to the disco uh, every Friday. Okay, so we have a different sentence here because now we are expressing something that it happens regularly, right? Esto pasa regularmente. So it is not happening right now. They go to the disco every Friday. And now it is not present continuous. Now it is simple present, okay? That's the difference. We say she is reading. ¿Cómo lo hacemos con una oración general? Tomando en cuenta que ella está leyendo. She reads, right? She reads. A book. She reads a book. Every day. Every day, right? She reads a book every day. That's a simple action, right? Something that happens regularly. What about the one that is swimming? How would you make a sentence with the one that is swimming? He swims. He he's, he's go to swimming. Okay. He swims. Para hacerlo en una oración general. No como he is going swimming, porque ahí, si decimos he is going swimming, ya estamos haciendo un futuro, right? Ese es otro no, pero tema. Digo, teacher, digo, he is go to swimming. No. Okay. He is go to swimming. En ese caso, no nos quedaría no, la oración. Vale. Porque tenemos he is go. No podemos tener dos verbos juntos. He okay. is go swimming. Él es va a nadar. So in that case, we cannot do the sentence like that. But we can say, he goes swimming in the morning. En este caso no es un present continuous swimming. Porque él dice que él va a nadar. Swimming is the action, is the sport, okay? Swimming en este caso se refiere al deporte, a la práctica de la natación. So he goes swimming in the morning. Ya sabemos que todas las mañanas se va a nadar. Right? And we have another option for this one. You can also say, he swims. He swims very well. And nada muy bien. He swims very well. And that's a general sentence, right? And this is the difference between present simple and present continuous, that this action is happening on this moment, but these actions that we are doing are general, right? Let's go with the next one. She is running. Hagamos en general. She runs. She runs. She runs. Adonde corre. She runs, oh, no, a donde? She runs in the, park. in the park, right? She runs in the park. And that's it, right? She runs in the park. Ella corre en el parque. No sabemos si ahorita, si ayer, si mañana, si pasado mañana, pero ella corre en el parque. She runs in the park. It's a general action, right? They are eating. How do you make it general? They eat. They, eat. they eat what? They eat, it's in the morning. What do you eat in the morning? Breakfast. They eat breakfast. breakfast. They eat breakfast uh, in a restaurant on Saturdays. 
There you have a very with specific family. sentence. And it is with their family. <laughs> with yeah, their same. family. <laughs> and then you can continue with their family and friends. Right? They eat breakfast in a restaurant on Saturdays. He is watching TV. Hagámoslo en general. No está pasando ahorita, pero pasa siempre. He, he, he watch. Watch. He, watch, he watches. Watch, watches. TV. She watches TV. Oh, okay. She movie. watches movies. Movie in on, the, in Netflix. Week. Weekend. On Netflix, okay. He watches movies on Netflix. Netflix. There you go. He watches movies on Netflix, right? They are watching a movie. They watch, they watch a movie, they right? Watch a movie. They watch a movie um, at Cinemark. They watch a movie at Cinemark. And yeah, it's a nota que salgo un montón de. They watch a movie at Cinemark. And the next one, he is working. Hagamos esto en general. He works. He works. ¿A dónde trabaja? Work. Works. He works where? In the factory. He works at the factory. He works at the Haynes factory in the Hiboa team. There you go. <laughs> he works at the Haynes factory in the Hiboa team. There you go. Tienen un nuevo amigo ahí. So that's the difference. Do you really grasp the difference between the present simple and the present continuous? Nos queda clara la diferencia entre los dos? Present simple and present continuous? Yeah? Yeah. Sí, no, sí, no. Examen. Sorpresa. <laughs> <laughs> you went from eh hey, to. <laughs> no, más palabras. <laughs> También que estábamos diciendo. Para cuando un examen sorpresa, teacher, para que nos activemos. Ok, mañana quizás. Ya sería sorpresa. ¿no? Ya no va a ser sorpresa. Cuando menos lo esperen, les va a llegar ahí. Sorpresa. Hello, Dennis. Hello, good evening. Vengo llegando del trabajo, dice Dennis. Gracias que nos puso en el chat ahí. So, if you know the difference, if you know the difference on this one, risa de maldad. <laughs> no me han visto mi risa de maldad. Today. Let's see. I have here a practice. Por aquí tenía una práctica para ustedes. Let me open it first. Hacer que comparto otra pantalla. Okay. And this one is not this one. It's not this one. It's this one. Okay. Here we go. <clears throat> This little practice, it's very simple, but very meaningful. So we are going to do it here. Here we have present simple and continuous, right? Present simple and continuous. And we're going to do a little true and false. For this one, we have a little reading, right? A little reading. We have done these ones before, right? Esta ya las hemos hecho antes. So this is going to be individual, right? And it says, read and circle the false or true sentences. It says, I like sport. I do judo on Fridays and I play volleyball every weekend. Right now, I'm not doing sports. I'm watching a match on TV. My brother doesn't like sports. Every weekend, he stays at home and plays computer games. Right now, he's sleeping. Read and analyze the answers. Don't give me the answers yet, okay? No me a gritar la respuesta. Read it and write it on your notebook. One, two, three, four, five, true and false. And no. Alguien sabe algo, Isabel? Yeah, I don't know. Where is Isabel? Isabel. Okay. 
the strange sounds of the class. Do you have it? Do you have the answers? Okay. Remember that after every answer, I am going to say why, and you have to explain me the answer, okay? Después de cada respuesta, siempre le voy a preguntar why. And you are going to give me the answer. Me lo tienen que explicar, no solo true and false, teacher. No, explain me your answer. Who wants to explain me number one? Okay, letter A in this case. She likes a sport and it says it's true. Who can explain me why they say it's true? Why is sentence A true? Parks. No, it's sentence A. It says she likes sports. True. Why? Porque I like sport. Because. because she says I like sport, right? She says I like sport. Okay, <laughs> there you go. No, but Isabel, it's not connected. And she said, hola. Así por, ¿dónde estás? Denis, Isabel está en el chat. I like sports. The letter B, number two. It says, she plays volleyball on Mondays. Who wants to help me with that one? Oh, okay. Maybe that one is Okay. It's false, Ronald. Why? Because she says play volleyball every weekend. I play volleyball every weekend, right? Not on Monday, not on Mondays. She's watching a match on TV right now. True. True. Why, Diego? <clears throat> Why? Okay. She's watching a match on TV. I am watching a match on TV right now. Good. No, the next one. He's uh, her brother likes a sport. False. 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 Why? False. Why, Normita? My brother doesn't. Uh -huh. My brother doesn't like it. Or, my brother doesn't like sports, right? Very good. And the last one, he's playing computer games now. Uh, uh, False. What is he doing? Right now. Right now, he's sleeping. He's sleeping right now, right? He's sleeping right now. Mr. Jorge Antonio, can you help me to read the paragraph? Ayúdame okay. a leer el paragraph. Vamos. I like sport. I do judo on Friday and I play volleyball every weekend. Right now, I am not doing sport. I am watching a max on TV. My brother doesn't like sport. Every weekend, yes, I at home and play computer games. Right now, he Sleeping. He's sleeping, right? Very good. Thank you, Jorge. Very good job. You read very nice. That was very good. You're improving. And it says, <clears throat> I like sport, right? I do judo on Fridays. Fridays. Tenemos que aprender a leer las palabras completas. Las, los plurales y las S son las más complicadas, right? Fridays. And I play volleyball every weekend. Right now, I'm not doing sport. I'm watching a match on TV. My brother doesn't like sport. 
Every weekend, he stays at home and plays computer games. Right now, he's sleeping, okay? He's sleeping. Carla Patricia, help me to read. The letter A, B, C, D, A. No, no, oh. no, no, the paragraph. Oh, sorry. The paragraph. I like... I like sport. I do I do judo on Fridays and I play volleyball every weekend. Right now, right now, I'm not doing sport. I'm watching a match on TV. My brother does, doesn't like sport. Every weekend, he stays at home and plays computer games. Right now, he's sleeping. He's sleeping. Very good, Carlita. No, Carlita. We're improving, Carlita. We're improving. Vamos morando, vamos morando. Wendy, vamos. The paragraph. And then Catherine. Así que se va preparando. I like sport. I do. Who on Friday? Judo, and judo. I, judo on Friday. And I play volleyball every weekend. Right now, I am not doing a sport. I am watching a march on TV. My brother doesn't like sport. Every weekend he stay at home and plays computer games. Right now he's sleeping. Very good, Wendy. Nice reading. Very good job. Miss Catherine, go ahead. And then let me prepare. Uh, hello, Isabel. <laughs> Welcome. I will prepare Christian next. Vamos. I like sport. I don't who who the on Friday. Judo, judo, judo. Volvamos a empezar. I like sport. I like sport. I don't judo on Friday and play. I play and I play. And I play volleyball. Volleyball. Every, volleyball every weekend. Every, every, every. every Every weekend, right? No, I am, I am not done sport. I am watching a match on TV. My my brother doesn't like sport. Every weekend, he, is, he stays. He stay oh, 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 at home. At home. At home. Com, compure, computer, gome, computer, compure, compure, computer, computer, <laughs> computer games, computer games, computer, 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 he is sleeping. He is sleeping. He is sleeping. Okay, good. Catherine, ¿tenés audífonos? ¿Tenés audífonos puestos? No. No, teacher. I need you to get one. Necesito que consigas unos audífonos para que te puedas concentrar mejor. Okay? Mañana con audífonos. Hay alguien, algún cipotillo que haya pasado ahí de tu casa. Tengo, me... Es que tengo, tengo teacher, pero me, me duele la cabeza tener mucho cerca los, los audífonos. <clears throat> Por eso, at least I mean, de, mi, de migraña yo. Ah, yeah, but Por uh, eso, casi no lo. No. Ok, entonces vamos a hacer algo. En los ejercicios de lectura los vas a ocupar. Ok, cuando tengamos ejercicios de lectura te los pones para que te puedas concentrar mejor. Okay, ah, ok. A Kaiser le gusta participar en la clase. Bastante. <laughs> I want to read, teacher. I want to read. I like sports. Okay, good. <laughs> Good, 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 good. Yo tengo una imaginación bien grande, así que no se preocupen, hasta me imaginé al Kaiser hablando. Mr. Christian, let's go. Okay. I like, I like sport. I do I, judo on Friday. I like sports. I like, I like sport. sports. Sport. I like sport. I do judo on Friday and I play volleyball every weekend. Right now, I am not doing sport. Doing, doing. I am not doing sport. I am watching a match on TV. My brother doesn't like sport. Every weekend, he stays at home and play 
computer games right now. He's sleeping. He's sleeping, right? He is sleeping. Good yes. job. <clears throat> these, these exercises, I, I try to get different reading exercises for you to improve your fluency, people. For example, if you get this one, you can get it on a picture and say like you can practice. I like sports. I do judo on Fridays and I play volleyball every week. And right now I'm not doing sport. I'm watching a match on TV. Right? My brother doesn't like sport. Every weekend he stays at home and play computer games. Right now he's sleeping. Give me examples of sentences with present continuous. Give me examples of sentences with present continuous. Uh -huh. Here on the on the paragraph. On the paragraph. Give me examples uh, with present continuous. I am watching. I am watching. I am watching, watching a match on TV. I am uh -huh. not doing sports. I am not doing sports. Any other one? She's sleeping. He is sleeping. Very good. He is sleeping. Give me examples with simple present. I like sports. Sport. I like sports. I do judo on Fridays. I do judo on Fridays. I play volleyball every weekend. Every weekend. My brother doesn't My brother like sports. Does, My brother like doesn't sport. like sports. Plays computer games. What is the difference? Hay un factor que marca la diferencia entre el simple present y el present continuous. Y son unas cuantas palabritas que tenemos marcadas por aquí. Say, on Fridays, every weekend, right now. Okay. Right now, it means that it's happening on the moment, right? Aquí nos marca que esto es un present continuous porque nos dice, right now, right now, I'm not doing sport, okay? But it says like, he plays you on Fridays, right? Allá el viernes juega eso, right? I am watching a match on TV right now. I am not doing sports. My brother doesn't like sports, but he says here, every weekend, he stays at home and plays computer games. And here you have another time that says, right now, he is sleeping, okay? Right now, it's an action that is happening on the moment. Esos son también otros factores que nos ayudan a identificar present continuous and simple present. Okay, so let's continue working here. On the second part, we have to choose the correct word. In this one, we are going to choose the correct word. Here we have three different verbs. And I need you please to get the one that you consider more appropriate, okay? I think we have only F and G, okay? Yes. So it says, my grandmother every Saturday, I call. I call, okay, I call my mother every Saturday. Si se fijan, que tenemos aquí? Every Saturday. Una frecuencia definitiva. I call my grandmother every Friday. Right? I call. Because you cannot say I do call. And I am calling my mother every Friday. No, si dijéramos, I am calling my mother every Friday, every Saturday. ¿Qué diría la oración? Estoy llamando. Estoy Yo estoy llamando. llamando a mi abuela cada sábado. And it's like, ah. Huh? How, how can you do that? I mean, it's just Wednesday. It's not possible. What about the next one? Say she a lot in the evenings. Read. She read. reads. Read. She yes. reads. And what is the phrase that makes a difference? In the evenings. In the, evening. right? in the evenings. What about the next one? It says to the teacher right now. They are. And it says, they are what? They uh, aren't listening. They aren't listening. They aren't Listen. listening, right? They aren't listening. Porque están chateando en WhatsApp. They aren't listening. And here you have not listened, right? That it's not possible. They aren't listening to the teacher right now. Because this is, are is the verb to be for they. And we are using present continuous. 
What about the next one? He, the dog at the moment. He's okay, at the moment, it's similar to right now, right? At the moment. He, what is he doing? He is walking the dog at the moment, okay? Si de repente ya no me vieron aquí, se le Where is the charlati? Ah, she's walking the dog at the moment. And she's here, right? I, I am back. We up early at the weekend. Um, aren't getting? We don't get dog yet. We don't, right? We don't. Porque con we ocupamos do or don't, right? We don't, um, yeah. don't get. We don't get up early at the weekend. No nos levantamos temprano el fin de semana. Usted. We don't get up early at the weekend. Porque doesn't get and don't get is not possible. Aren't getting is not possible in this case because it's a simple present sentence. What? Every weekend. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Right? What do you do? This is a simple present sentence. What do you do? What do you do every weekend? ¿Qué hace cada fin de semana? Right? And the last one. Right what now. Are you doing? What are you doing? Esa es present continuous, right? What are you doing? What are you doing right now? Otra cosa que con present continuous no ocupamos do, right? You cannot say, what do you are doing? It's not possible, right? What are you doing right now? What do you do every weekend, people? ¿Qué hacen cada fin de semana? Complicated. Uh -huh. What do you do every weekend? It's complicated. Why? La vida agitada, Rona. Ah, you play video <laughs> Okay, you play video games. So you say, I play video games. I Are you play playing video. video games right now? No. Okay, so you see, simple present, present continues. Uh, uh, let's see. I, Christian, what do you do uh, every weekend? I'm taking now. <laughs> what do you do every weekend? I, I work. I work. Are you working right now? And, uh, no, right? Uh, right, now, I right now I am studying, right? That is the use of the sentence. Very nice form of using. Okay, so that is, it's nice that you are getting the idea of how to use the simple present and the present continues. Okay, en su cuaderno, escriban del 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, del 1 al 7, please. On your notebook, from 1 to 7. I'm scared, teacher. Exam. <laughs> okay, Diego, here you have. Okay, I gave me a surprise. Number one, teacher. Del 1 al 7, escriban del 1 al 7 en su cuaderno así para abajo, para que puedan tener okay. And here we go. I need you to complete the sentences. Use verbs in simple present or present continuous depending on the sentences. Write the verb that you consider necessary to complete the sentence in simple present or present continuous.
en la X se, eh, así está bien o está escrito Facebook. It is correct, but this one is the British version. Favorite. We have the two forms. The English, the American English version, it's favorite with O. And in the British version, it's favorite. It's correct. Both of them are correct. Ambas son correctas. Okay. I am going to bring you some examples tomorrow. Different words in, in American English and in British English. Mañana le puedes mostrar una listita de palabras que se escriben distintas. But good observation. Finish almost. Okay. Thirty. Okay. One. One more minute. Finish. Yay! The first one. Nice. Finish. Parencita. Very good. Okay, let's check our answers. <laughs> I was reading all the all the story of the WhatsApp group. Isabel, your eye is bad. Te duele un ojo. ¿Qué pasó? Sí, me duele mucho. No sé, pero me dolía bastante y me 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 acosté a reposar un poco mientras se llegaba la hora y me dormí. <risa> Sorry. No, de despertar porque había, había pas estaba pasando un carro y llevaba mucho ruido. Y me acababa de despertar y vi la hora. Ya me iba a conectar. <risa> ok. Muy bien. Ok, esperamos que le, que le baje el, el dolor de lo. Ojalá si no, que sí. Si no, hay que ir a chequear ahí la presión. ¿La presión del ojo o la presión arterial? <risa> la arterial. <risa> Por el ojito. Ok, no, it's, it's just, maybe it's just stress. But you need to be careful. Ok, let's see. To the park now. Mr. Edwin Ernesto, what do you have for letter B? I'm going to the park now. I am going to the park now. Very good sentence. Any other example? Alguien que tenga una distinta? No. No, I am going to the park now. Everybody has the same? I am to the park now. I am to the park. It's we need the ing form. I am going. No haría falta siempre la ing. You can say, I am going, I am walking, I am traveling to the park. You can use any of, of these options, right? I am, uh, yeah, I am heading to the park right now. Letter C, my sister. Place. My place. My sister place. plays <clears throat> computer, games computer games every games. day. My sister buys computer games every day, porque hay quienes compran también en línea. 
My sister. Playing. Uh, no, playing, no, because it's every day. It's the simple present. My sister plays. D. Ah, uh, letter D. Ah, good, good, good. My sister. Letter D. Is playing. Is playing, playing outside <coughs> now. What is another option that you have there? Alguien que escribió algo distinto? Is playing? Todos pusieron is playing. Yo puse is playing. Is playing, ¿verdad? Ah, verbo. Ajá. Si hubiéramos dicho, conjuguemos los verbos, tal vez hubiéramos cambiado. Pero como al menos yo los teníamos en dirección, dije, bueno, esto mismo vamos a poner. Ay, qué lindo. So, bien, muy bien, tío. You can, you can use different verbs, right? What is he doing? What can she be doing outside now? My sister is cleaning. My sister is going. My sister is playing. My sister is, is laughing. I don't know. My sister. No, 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 Write the verbs in the present simple or present continuous, right? So you can use any verb. You have here examples, right? But you can use any verb. If you want to use something different, that's correct. Go, play, watch, not watch, not make, right? But what other options can you have? ¿Qué otra opción podrían hacer con este de outside now? ¿Qué más puede estar haciendo ella allá afuera? My sister watching uh, the sky. Outside. It's watching the sky. Good. It's painting. It's my sister running outside. It's running, running. In the park outside now. Okay, my sister is running in the park. Good. Outside. My nice. Listening outside now. My sister is listening music outside. Right. We, our favorite cartoon at the moment. We. What are we watching. doing? We are watching, right? We are watching. watching. This is affirmative. What about the next one that it's negative? TV on Sundays. We don't watch. We don't watch TV on Sundays, right? And the last one. My my dad not making long. Okay. At the moment, my dad, el verbo to be, ¿cuál sería? My dad is not. My dad is not making lunch at the moment. Okay, my dad is not making lunch at the moment. Good, very good job. And the last exercise that I have for this one, let me see. Okay. Let me just go here. I am going to show you the next exercise that I have for this topic. And here we go. Okay, let me choose it. Who wanted the exam? Here you have an exam. Aquí tenemos un examen. Here we go. I need you to analyze these sentences. We have here three different options, right? We have three different options, and I need you to tell me which of the three options is correct and why. Which of the three options is correct and why? Third. The third one. Why? Porque está correcta la tercera. I am going porque sí. <laughs> porque sí, como because of yes, teacher. No, why? Después del sujeto está el verbo to be. Exactly like that. Because you have the verb to be after the subject, you have the present continuous, and you have the sentence right now, right? It's happening on the moment. That is the answer. Okay, no, because of a gesture. Number two, letter B. Which one is correct? I don't usually read. I don't usually read. I don't usually read. I 
gusto. I am not usually ready at the time. I don't. Ah. I don't. I don't. I don't usually read adventure stories. Why, Edwin? Second. Why? ¿Por qué? Porque este, dice Because que... it's simple present. It's negative. Because it's simple present negative. I was like, Karencita salvando el poder femenino aquí. <laughs> I don't usually read adventure stories. Both of you are correct. Edwin y Karen están en lo correcto. Because it's simple present negative, and he says like because it says I don't usually, and it's correct, right? I don't usually read adventure stories. In this one, say I am not usually. It's not correct, and I'm not usually reading. It's not correct to use it in a sentence, right? I don't usually read, because here you have an adverb of frequency, un adverbio de frecuencia indefinida, and in this case, it's for simple present. Good, very good. Number three. My parents are getting my parents getting are getting every, 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 every day. day. Okay, ¿qué es lo que vamos a identificar primero? ¿Cuál tipo de frecuencia tenemos? Every day. Every day. Is it right now or is it definite, indefinite? Definitely, right? La, la primera, my parents get up very early every day. The first. Okay. My parents get up la very tercera. early every day. La tercera. ¿Por qué la tercera y por qué no la primera? Porque se conjuga el verbo, se le pone la S. Tercera persona. Ah. Estamos hablando de ellos. No sé si my, my parents. Ay, me gusta cuando te <laughs> <laughs> Me gusta ver al verano. Yeah. <laughs> My parents, it's plural, right? My parents, it's a plural form. With the plurals, we don't use third person, right? With the plurals, we don't use the S. So you say, My parents get up very early every day. En este caso, tenemos gets up. Si aquí dijera, he, he, ya ven por qué no estudié ingeniería. <laughs> He gets up very early every day, right? En este caso, sí. He gets up, porque aquí va de acuerdo al verbo que estamos ocupando. Pero este no es el caso. So you say, my parents get up very early every day. The next one. Letter D. My best friend plays at my house. On Fridays, you have. The second one, they say. Why, Karencita? Because it's third person. Yo también. Espérate, ya voy. Yo también quiero. Because it's third person. And, 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 Simple present, right? It's third person and simple present. My best friend plays at my house after school on Fridays. So there you go. Letter E. Letter E. My brother. He's not watching TV right now because my brother isn't. Watching uh -huh. TV by down. Number three. Number three. Number three. It says, My brother isn't watching TV right now because he has to do his homework. Yes. Present continues, right? My brother isn't, because it's negative for the verb to be, watching TV right now because he has to do his homework. Okay, very good. So it's good that you think and analyze the sentences, right? It helps a lot. No ayuda un montón. And the last exercise for this topic. Here we have, al menos el último antes de que les pase listo. 
I need you to help me correct the sentences. But in this one, I am going to choose different people. Voy a escoger a cinco de ustedes. I am going to choose Dennis. A los que no tienen cámara voy a escoger. Dennis, Jorge. <laughs> Turning on the camera. Dennis, Jorge, eh, Walter. Sorry, teacher. I drink. <laughs> ah, the internet, okay. Christian and Edwin Mauricio. Okay. <coughs> Edwin Mauricio is going to be letter E. Usted va a ser la letra E, Edwin Mauricio. Eh, Dennis, la A. Eh, let's see. Jorge, la B. Walter, la C. Eh, ¿Quién fue el siguiente? Se me perdió. One, two, three. Or Christian, sure. the letter C, letter C, and the last one is going to be for uh, Normita, letter D. <laughs> you need to find the mistake. You need to find the mistake. ¿Cuál es el error en la oración? What is the mistake? Todos lo van a hacer, ¿verdad? Todos lo van a hacer, pero los escogidos la van a, a expresar. Todos tienen que hacer. What is the mistake here? What is the mistake here? What is the mistake here? Here and in here. We have started present simple, present continuous, the different things that they they make. Here you have, for example, words like this ones that give you the idea of what type of sentence is this one and how you have to correct it. Okay. Todos la van a hacer. Y si alguien no puede, los que están escogidos, pues te vamos a ayudar entre todos. I will give you a couple of minutes for you to analyze. Okay, vamos a darle pausa en lo que abrimos la asistencia. Okay. Ya tenemos la número uno. Yes, no. Give me a second. Okay. There. Okay, uh, I am going to call the attendance right now, and then we are going to we are going to write the answers. Okay, le voy a pasar lista primero y después vamos a recolectar las respuestas. Mr. Christian. Present. Thank you. Present, you say. Dennis Gerardo. Present. Present, present. In English. Diego Jose. Present. Present, present. Here, present. teacher. You say. Good. Edwin Ernesto. Present, teacher. Present. Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher. Jorge Antonio. Present. 
Karen Lisette. Present. Carla Patricia. Present. Catherine Rosibel. Present. Luis Humberto. Present. Norma Yamilet. Present. Ronald Ulises. Present. Víctor Manuel. Hey, Víctor Manuel. ¿Dónde estás, Víctor Manuel? Pongámosle en el chat ahí, por favor. Víctor Manuel, ¿dónde estás? Walter Enrique. Presente. Wendy Beatriz. Presente. Yanira Isabel. I am here. Thank you very much. Casi tenemos asistencia perfecta, solo por Víctor, que no, no vi. Olmos, Olmos. Let's go back to the exercise. Okay, good, very good. Number one. Who is in charge of number one? ¿Quién estaba a cargo de la una? Letter A. Me. Go ahead, Dennis. Según comprendí, uh, for make a cake for month birthday now. Uh -huh. We have a present continuous sentence, porque tenemos la palabra now al final. Entonces, esto tendría que ser present continuous con ing. ¿Cómo la cambiamos? Making. So, what is the complete sentence? We're making a cake for mom's birthday now. Very good. We are making a cake, right? We are making a cake for mom's birthday here, para el cumpleaños de mamá. Right now, and now it says, we are making a cake for mom's birthday now. And that's it, right? We are making a cake for mom's birthday now. That will be the correction. In this case, as you can see, it's present continuous. So we need to be careful to use the verb to be and the verb in ing. Letter B. ¿Quién era el encargado de la B? Me. Ok. Vamos a ver. Time present continue. That is every Sunday. Mm. Adverbio de frecuencia definitiva. Simple present. Uh, I am called. Every Sunday, I call my grandmother. Every Sunday, I call my grandmother. Very good job. So you say every Sunday, every Sunday, I call. Because in this case, you have simple present, right? I call my grandmother, right? Every Sunday, I call my grandmother. And there you have the sentence. Good job. Every Sunday, I call my grandmother. The next one, letter C. Okay. Christian. Ah, oh, no. Walter. Walter, sorry. Walter or Christian. ¿Quién va? Yo soy. Yo. Yo soy. <laughs> okay, vamos. Ay, me dijo latina, sí. Okay, está bien. Christian, no vaya a dar por lo siguiente. Uh, at the said, moment. At the moment, my sister doesn't study English. My, at the moment, my sister doesn't study, right? My sister doesn't study. In this case, we have to omit the ING form. At the moment, my sister doesn't study English. Okay. Is this simple present? Si lo dejamos así. Sería simple present. Pero dice at the moment. Está pasando right now. En este momento. So, what would be the, the sentence in the present continuous? At the moment, my sister does study English. ¿Qué dice el público? ¿Qué hacemos el comodín del público? Study. Isn't, right? My sister isn't. 
studying English. Porque acordémonos que con el present continuous ocupamos el verbo to be. No ocupamos ah. simple present do and does. At the moment, my sister isn't studying English, right? At the moment, my sister isn't studying English because it's happening right now. Letter D, Christian. Now. Parents is take. My parents, plural. My parents is take for a work right now. Oh, ¿qué dice el público? Ayudémoslo. My parents. Taking. taking. My parents taking. Are, taking. Are, taking. Are, taking. are taking. Good, very good. Porque es plural. Are taking. Sí, My are. parents are taking the dog for a walk right now, right? My parents are taking the dog for a walk right now. And the last one. My brother is never eating peanuts because he's allergic. Uh, my brother never eats peanuts uh -huh. because he's allergic. Never eats it's. peanuts because he's allergic. Very good sentence, right? My brother never eats peanuts because he is allergic. Great job. That's it. You just need to be very, very careful, right? Toda esta clase ha sido de, ¿qué ha pasado? ¿Qué ha pasado? No tengo que perder un segundo porque me pierdo, right? My brother never eats peanuts because he's allergic. And in this case, we have simple present sentence. Great job, right? You did a very nice job on this exercise. I like it. Let's go to the next one. I have it here, right? So, as I have been explaining to you here, the simple present and the present continues, the two different things and forms that we use for this one. We have the present simple, it's just the subject and the verb. Podemos tener una oración tan sencilla como I cook, she plays, y eso sería on present simple, right? Present continues, the subject, the verb to be, it, the verb to be and not, if it is negative, the verb and the ing, right? To express general truths that we have been studying, it rarely rains in the desert. Si se fijan, tenemos un advert of frequency, right? She is reading a newspaper out upstairs, right? Ella lo está leyendo, está leyendo el diario. The birds returned to the island every morning. These are present habits, right? You are always forgetting to pay the bills. Okay? This is another form of present continuous. Express timetable news. The plane to London takes off at 6.30. Okay? You have a specific time, right? It's a specific event. She is getting married on November 3rd. This is for future arrangements. Lo que estuvimos hablando el día de ayer. I like the new James Bond film. She is working at the museum, right? So you have the two different forms of sentences. Yesterday, we were doing this exercise that it's about the future continues. And this is another form of this one. And we were doing the sentences yesterday. Hicimos la mayoría de oraciones. And it says, she, uh, sorry, Sam is having lunch at the cafeteria tomorrow. In the next one, we were saying that it's like, are you flying to Dubai next week? Are you flying to Dubai next week? Oh yes, for sure. Mañana me voy. Yes, I am, right? Yes, I am in this case. Yes, I am flying to Dubai. Oh, I just have a Mr. Mrs. Perkins give. Como la transformamos en present continuous. Mrs. Perkins is giving. Is giving. giving. Is giving her students a test in a few days. Mrs. Flores tendría que decir aquí. Is giving her students a test in a few days. Hurry up the train in 10 minutes. 
se va, se va. He's leaving, right? The train is leaving in 10 minutes. I very early tomorrow morning at five o'clock. I am getting up very early tomorrow morning. Tengo que levantarme temprano. This is for future arrangements, remember. This one. Is John coming to the party? Is John coming to the party? In I the have next a question. One. Yes, Dennis. La oración number two. Uh -huh. Iniciamos con R. Uh -huh. And number six, iniciamos con is. Uh -huh. Y entre paréntesis tenemos A en la dos y en la seis igual. Okay. In this case, it's because you need the subject, right? You need to answer the question, right? Esta nos da la marca de que es una pregunta, porque tenemos una respuesta. Aquí está la B. Okay. You need to answer. You have A and B. It says that you have the answer. And that we, what you have here is a question. Eso nos da la marca cuando tiene la A aquí, por ejemplo, es que es una pregunta y que tenemos una parte B, que es una respuesta. Entonces aquí, ¿por qué ponemos R en esta? Aquí, perdón, yo me agarré la A de ejemplo. Es que R. eso me confundió. Sorry, sorry. Perdón, perdónenme la vida. Ok, ahí voy. Ahí estoy. Are you? Are you flying? Yo aquí reciclando letras. In this one, we have you como subject. Y aquí tenemos como sujeto a John. Entonces, John is he. Is he, right? Are you? That's the one. That's the way we use it. Aquí porque yo me había reciclado la. The next okay. one. Now you got it. Okay, good. Very good. The next one. I am going. I am going to a shopping mall this weekend. No, we going. going out on Friday. It says we are staying home. It says no, we are not going. We are not going on Friday. We are staying home, going out. <laughs> going out on Friday. We are staying home. And the last one, tomorrow is Saturday. I, I am. am I am sleeping late. Tomorrow is Thursday. And the next one. I am playing football tomorrow. I am playing football tomorrow afternoon at 2.30. Sally, turn off the TV. We are eating dinner soon. And the last one that we have here, number 12. No, we are not having a meeting today. It's at three o'clock tomorrow. This is present continuous for the future arrangement, okay? This is present continuous, pero para arreglos que vamos a hacer en un futuro cercano, okay? But the main thing that I wanted you to study today, la más importante que quería que marcáramos este día, is the present simple for Simple present and present continuous. And on your manual, si se van a su manual, aquí tienen una pequeña explicación. And it says, simple present for general information, present continuous for ongoing actions. Ongoing, it means that they are happening at the moment. What is the first example for simple present, people? Can you help me to read it? It's right now. O tiene que ser de hoy mismo. It says, uh, you can use right now, you can use now, you can use at the moment, it's any of it. Okay, veamos el primero para simple present. I check, I check, my, check, email I check my email every, every morning. morning. I check my email every morning. And for present continuous, ¿qué estás haciendo? I am... I am, planning a video I am planning a video conference. What about number two? He writes reports about the meeting. What about number two in present continuous? They are? They are documents. 
they are getting the documents ready. What about number three? She, she audits inventories. Inventories. And number three, she is editing, editing the information. Editing. And number four. They arrange, they arrange meetings. And for number four in present continuous. The secretary is making a phone call. Very good job. So let me show you a couple of examples that I have here. Let's see if my friend is here. Let me find them. My good friends of all times. Let me get my friends. I have so many cards. What is he doing right now? Oh, let me stop this one for you to see it better. He is cooking. He is cooking right now. What is she doing right now? Cheese. Cooking. This one. Okay. I will make it for everybody. There you go. She's, she's playing the right piano, now. right? She's playing the piano right now. What is she what is he doing? He's He's playing the guitar. He's playing the guitar. Si es alguien de la clase, a quién le han parecido? Díganme quién está tocando la guitarra. Diego. Diego. Diego is playing the guitar right now. Okay. What about this one? ¿Quién es esta? Wendy. Wendy. Carla Patricia. Carla Patricia is. <laughs> playing play the piano and this one Johnny, the Johnny no van a estar hablando Johnny, what about this one? Wendy 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 is Wendy is cleaning the yard right now. What yeah. about this one? Isabel. Is. Isabel. Isabel. <laughs> they are playing. They are playing. The children. The children play in the park. Okay, podemos decir the children is? No. The children are playing in the park. Okay. In the park. What about this? Walter. No. <laughs> What is he doing? What is he doing? Si ya le pusieron nombre, digan la oración completa. So you say, Dennis is interpreting. How do you say actuaring? Acting. 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 Yeah. What about this one? I don't know. He's painting. Ronald. Ronald is painting. Painting the wall. He's painting the wall. Aha. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver. They are. No, they, they, they can. Quién es okay? <laughs> Uh -huh. I want to know. Ah, Nati, Nati, ay, salvado todo. 
con su esposo no. echando la bailadita del aniversario. There you go, Nati not, not and Alex, there you go. <laughs> they are dancing, right? They are dancing. What about this one? He is Dennis. He can, Dennis, okay, Dennis, que famoso. Dennis. Dennis is, 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 is skin. 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 Right? Skin. 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 <laughs> Only Walter Denny, Walter Denny. Tengo Luis, tengo a Edwin, tengo a Edwin Mauricio. So choose different people. ¿Qué tiene con el mejor Denny? Edwin Mauricio, ¿te parece? Edwin Mauricio is watching the clothes. He's washing the clothes. What about this one? Catherine is shopping. Catherine is shopping. What about this one? Um, Wendy, um, Wendy, um, and Isabel. <laughs> Wendy and Isabel. Are uh, Isabel are. Okay. Okay. Are visiting. Uh, visiting. Are visiting the, the hospital. hospital. Are visiting the hospital. Very good. What about this one? The lady. Who's the lady? Wendy. 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 Hola, a mí me dice. Hola, bonita rubia. Wendy. Wendy y Chris. ¿Cómo? Es un gallego, eh. Sí, <risa> okay, they are fixing, fixing their hair. They are fixing their hair, or they are going to the hair salon. They are going to the hair salon. And I have another one. Karen. 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 <risa> Fix, yeah. Karen, fixing, fixing the, uh, TV. Karen is fixing the TV, right? Karen is fixing the TV. What about this one? Kumayawa. <laughs> growing roses. <laughs> it's growing flowers. Good. Hey, bring me some, okay? <laughs> I have another one. Gallego. Gallego is eating a cat. No, because ahí él se lo está comiendo al gato. Es cierto que estamos fregados con el money, vea, pero no nos andemos comiendo los gatos del express. How do you say dog? Feeding, feeding a cat. Feeding, está llorando. It's feeding, feeding the cat, feeding, feeding. And the last one, I have two more. Who's she? Norma. 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 <laughs> Norma is. Norma is reading. Norma, Norma is reading a bike. Si está leyendo la bici, está como que ver. Está leyendo la bici. Riding, riding, riding. She's riding a bike. And the last one. Nati. Catherine. Nati. Solo yo, porque a mí me mandan el carajo que el nombre. Ah, sí pasa, ¿verdad? sí sucede. Pero... The, teacher. The, teacher is... the teacher is singing. 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 Quiero ver si me quedo alguna escondida aquí. The I can sing anything. Toda. Agropecuaria, Adel, anything. I can sing anything. Oh my God. They were very good. They were very good uh, sentences. What about the last one here? Carla Patricia. 
Carla Patricia. <laughs> what is she doing? Carla Patricia, she is feeling sick. Is feeling sick. I think she is pre predicting the future. Estoy prediciendo el futuro. The teacher is predicting the future. Yeah, and I think that's it. That was very good. What about this one? Diego is Thomas. Diego is feeling sick. Is feeling sick. Se está sintiendo enfermo. ¿Quién es Colucho? Nadie. No, I think no one right here. Nadie. Teacher. Teacher, nadie. Is buying flowers, right? Very good sentences, people. My God, from all these pictures, aquí teníamos como 20, Denny. <laughs> In all these pictures, right? Denny and Walter are very famous people. Wow. Denny. Okay, Denny, Walter, Luis, and Diego. Edwin. Diego. <laughs> Diego was very famous as well. Well, so it was a very nice practice with that. Let's go here with the last exercise of the night. I am going to eliminate here my destacado so I can see all of you. And here, I have five minutes for this last one. And let's go back here. <clears throat> <laughs> Uy, no arranca. Dísele. Ah, La clase no arranca. Está pegada. Estamos mal aquí todos. So, here we have. Yeah, we need vacation. So, here we have a little description, right? For simple present tense. Eso se lo pueden ver para que lo tengan. It's just a little explanation of simple present and present continuous, right? The whales live on the ocean, right? And I am teaching an English lesson. Simple truths, continuous actions. You are watching a video. You are watching a class right now. Steve is washing his hair, right? She's taking her dog for a walk. And water boils, boils at 100 degrees Celsius. It rains a lot in winter. A dog has four legs, okay? Simple examples of simple present. I brush my teeth three times a day. I read in bed every night. She goes to the gym and he walks to school every day. And in present continuous, I am reading a great book. Yo le voy a compartir esta para que le quede a ustedes. And in the manual, the explanation was very short, but we had a little uh, conversation and it takes both things, right? That is the last one that we are going to do. I need two volunteers to read the conversation. Two volunteers para que leamos la conversation. Thank you very much, Isabel. One, two, three, four. Hey, I love it, I love it. Isabel and Diego and then Dennis and Walter. Vamos, Isabel and Diego, la primera vez y después Dennis y Walter. ¿Quién comienza? Uh, Isabel. Ah. Good afternoon, Raúl. Where, what are you doing right now? Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What what time do, do you usually get to your workplace? What the first thing do you? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email on you? Well, I I arrived at seven o'clock or seven thirty. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick 
pick up the letter. Good job, right? My first activity is to pick up the letters. Things to pay attention with, okay? A clap for the participants. Very good job, very good job. Son gratis, vamos. Hey! Del aplauso del artista. Thank you very much. Excellent. Very good. Hey, doing. Doing? No, it's doing. What are you doing right now? I am planning, right? I am planning and ready. I am getting ready. The next one, what is the first thing you do? And 6.30 a.m., pick up the letters. Carlita, ¿me ibas a hacer alguna pregunta? No, teacher, se me fue, se me fue la mano. Sí. <laughs> okay, don't worry, don't worry. Mis segundos participantes eran? Dennis and Walter. Dennis and Walter, let's go. Y que odio, que odio, Diego. <laughs> let's go. Who is the first person? You. Good afternoon, Raúl. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Dennis. We we are playing a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is your team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do, do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email and you. Well, I arrive at 7 o'clock or 7.30 o'clock. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick, pick up the letters. Okay, my first activity is to pick up the letters. Thank you very much. Claps for the team. Very good job. Nice participation. Hey, people, reactions for your friends. And very good, very good. Okay. Como decía ahí en mis momentos cuando era animadora de fiestas. Del aplauso y del artista. Gracias. Muy lindas. Muy fino por su participación. I used to do that. So, tomorrow we are going to practice. So, please, if you have the chance to read it on your manual, do it. Si tienen el chance de practicar en su manual, la conversación está en la página número 31. Okay. So, we are going to finish working with simple present and present continuous. So you can actually advance on this one as well. Well, my dear students, it was a fantastic, productive class today. Okay, listen, feel him. It was so much things to do. Have a wonderful night, and I'm going to see you tomorrow for more. Muy divertido. Buenas noches. Mañana se van a divertir un poquito más. Bye bye. Hasta nada. Maléfica le dice. Bye bye. Take care. See you tomorrow. Bye.